hot or not? That is the question. Oh yes, it's the part of what well, was that new series where we're basically going to play old games and decide whether they're actually good or bad. And uh, once again, I'm joined by Zeph. Hey, people, because this is this is his thing. Yeah, and I'm looking at retro games today. We won't be playing Doom 3, even though I am playing it on the B BFG edition. Sorry. <laughs> I will be playing Doom or Doom 2, thanks to the choice of Tyler. Oh. Well, no, we've got to go with the original. We'll go with the original. So we'll begin with Doom. Okay. Doom was first released in 1993 by ID Software, and it took quite a bit of acclaim since half the people loved it and half the people hated it. But that's religion for you, isn't it, folks? Love it or hate it. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Did you not expect that? No, not really. <laughs> Neither did I. My mouth just kept going and going. <laughs> we'll start with Knee Deep in the Dead, and which one do you think? Hey, not too rough. Hey, not too rough. Yeah, cool. That's like my life. Right. But... So L1 sprinting, cool. Right, I can't hear people in this game, so if I get shot from behind... Enter generic gear joke here. <laughs> yes, well, that's me all over. Right, so... First off, taking account that it is a retro game. So everything looks like a bag of wank. Graphics. It was 93 when it was released. Can you remember off the top of your head any other game in 93 that could blow this game out of the water looking wise? Uh, well, not really, but Spyro and Crash Bandicoot were nearby, but they looked better because they tried to make this look semi-realistic. Which were more animated, more cartoon-esque, would I say. Oh, I can't hit this in, I'm fucked. <laughs> there we are. Right, okay. So, other than those, I mean, let, let's not get it wrong. Spyro, Crash, very good games, very iconic, especially in the PlayStation series. But Doom was iconic for a different reason, as it is quoted to be the godfather of all shoot 'em ups. Without this game, Call of Duty wouldn't be where it is. And no sense. Half of you people wouldn't watch YouTube, because that's all you seem to fucking watch. Montages of people <laughs> shooting shit up. <sighs> Look at me knowing about these secrets. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Cool. You spent so much of your childhood actually playing Doom though, it was unbelievable. Oh, I know. <laughs> the tip, the trick is to look for walls that aren't the same colour as the rest of the wall. Yeah, but you got to think though, the amount of games that don't do this sort of stuff now is mental compared, because secret, I mean, I know there's easter eggs and stuff, but you don't really get levels where there's so much hidden treasure you have to go find. Well, that's it. I mean, with, with Doom, it's not so much treasure, but you're like, oh, there's a lift, there's a door, where's this going to take me? I'm getting shot in the face, I'm fucked. Do you I mean, it? <laughs> even though it is just a level as well, it is so easy to get lost on Doom. It is unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Especially later on. I mean, one of the things people are going to be like, well, their opinion is going to be, oh, you don't even aim on this, you just go left and right. And I'm like, yeah, mate, it was 1993. Do you think they brought in that sort of axis in gaming? So I don't. I don't even... No, because it was originally an arcade thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Where you had a joystick a... and a couple of buttons. Yeah, pretty much. And if you didn't have that joystick, you'd pretty much just die, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> so just be thankful you got what you're given. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I know this. The Doom have come a long way. I mean, if Doom One and Two, you know, the, it was the same thing essentially, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was just it was more level. Doom Three, they did step it up a bit, and I got to admit, I, I did enjoy Doom Three, but it it is a game that could be better. Oh the, yeah. The new Doom that's come out, <clears throat> I haven't really had a lot of experience playing the game, but I have watched videos on it. I've heard it's not took as well. And no, the, the thing is, they've kind of got rid of what makes Doom Doom, if you know what I mean. For, for, what I want to know is what people think of the new Doom. Would they like to keep it classic? This is your part to comment and let us know whether you'd rather classic Doom or the newer Dooms. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the new Doom looks fantastic. It, it really does. But, I don't know, I think the very... very slowly treading into the whole just a generic first person shooter sort of 
Yeah, they are. They're, try they're trying to match wits with things like, well... I mean, don't get me wrong, when this came out, Borderlands, yeah. they still had Wolfenstein, and... <coughs> I mean, it was made by the same people, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, so it was bound to be very similar, but there was very, very little you could do differently at this time in video games. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Sonic and you look at Mario, the concept's pretty much the same anyway. Until, yeah. you know, they were both went and found the separate way. Yeah, they were both side scrollers, which is which is what most games start off with. This never did. I mean, can you imagine if it was? It would have been a bit crap, wouldn't it? Well, it'd just be Metal Slug, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, Metal <laughs> Slug. Oh God, but that's blasphemous. Even blast. though you've played up to date games, yeah, and you've oh Lord, you know, I mean, you you play out quite a variety of games, you know, from everything from. Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts to Tekken and stuff. Yeah. How do you feel like the gameplay still handles to this day? What of Doom? Yeah. Uh, it's well, it's never changing really. It's one of those sort of games that's contemporary, almost frozen in time. It's never going to change. Doom Three still has the qualities that the original Doom had. It's just that they made it more smooth. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to put it. It's just smoother. No, the they, they, they did capitalise on the atmosphere concept of it in Doom 3, though. Oh, yeah. I'll give them that. And they also gave enemies... Because in this version of Doom, you pretty much shoot to kill. In the new versions of Doom, enemies have weak spots. You've got to aim for certain things, otherwise they're never going to die. But you know what doesn't happen in the new Doom? What? Oh, <laughs> when a shotgun dude dies. To be fair, that is only the PlayStation version and the PX versions. It doesn't happen in this one, and the noise is actually... I mean, for as much faults as the game will have, because any game has them, there's, there's no such thing as a perfect game. Oh, no. It, it's hard to say this game isn't hot purely because of what it is. It, it revolutionised the whole genre of a first person shooter. You did. And for that matter, I'm, I'm instantly giving it a hot. Oh, it's yeah. on fire. It's on fire. Well, it, like I say, you can't take a piss out of yourself without taking a piss out of your descendants. If you're going to play things like Call of Duty, Borderlands, as you know, I'm quite a Borderlands fan, I'm pretty much on my way to platinum in that <laughs> game <clears throat> because I am what they call a platinum seeker. I don't have I, time for that. I have to give it a very hot, hot, hot. A very hot, hot, hot. Voting, yeah. Yeah, it's like it, a Latina sort of hot. No, I'm talking more Scotch bonnet. I'm talking oh. more I'm talking more jalapeno with Tabasco. Oh, no, see, jalapenos are that hot. Yeah, but when coated in Tabasco. Fucking ghost pepper with Tabasco on it. Oh, ghost oh. pepper. Oh, oh, God, shitting for a week. <laughs> for, for those who couldn't see, I did just rub my nipple. Yeah, oh. Yes. That's different from me doing it, I must say. Yeah, well, you, you've got control in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually going for the end of the level here, folks. Just to brag my rights, I know where the secret exit to this level is. Oh! So, and in this room, everything just kind of comes running at you. I'm starting to think I should have made be have done a harder difficulty, because I'm just... You, you're kind of breezing through it, are you? Yeah, I am. But, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, how many games do you find now that have a difficulty that's so easy... To one where you take one shot, you fucked. Well, that's it. Well, I'm going to try and see if I can load a file where it's a more... Ah. There you go. Ultra-violence. Ultra violence. Not even I've got past this l level yet. I did Doom 2 first. I, didn't, I did Doom 1 previously on the Xbox at my sister's house. But on this file, I stopped here because I got to a point where I was so low on ammo that I couldn't really do anything from here. Now... Was that a little cheeky shout out to Kirsten there? What Kirsten? K Kirsten's my hoe. She she loves this <laughs> game. She she loves this game as much as I do. I bred this game into her skull. We lived for this game. I mean, look at this flat corpse. Look at the graphics of that. I don't want to stay looking at it too long, otherwise I could die. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, I mean, everyone's um, gaming history when you're a kid can be radically different. I oh, mean, yeah. there's only two years between us, but you grew up on Doom. My parents won't let me watch, uh, play Doom. You know, uh, it would literally be Sonic, and, you know, if I was cheeky about it, I might even get on Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage. <laughs> now, I did like Streets of Rage and Gold Axe, if you remember Gold Axe. I do remember Gold Axe. Couldn't ever do it, but I remember it. 
Can you remember how people died in Streets of Rage? It's proper like. <laughs> that was a terrifying noise. I'm gonna die here. Y you most likely are going to die. I should have just quoted Resident Evil there, just to take the piss and been like, you're all going to die down here. I mean, that's another game I never got to play as a kid, which was Resident Evil. Oh no, I played it to the tits. Same with um, Silent Hill, played a lot of Silent Hill as well. See, to this day, never played Silent Hill. I... Not a single one. So, this is pretty much the product of the game. There's not much we can really say about it, other than it is more of a puzzle than it is action, though the action is there. You've got to get from A to Z, and... Oh shit. I don't know when that happened, but... <laughs> you've got to get to A to Z, find all the keys, open the door, find the end. Um, I mean, it is very repetitive, but... Oh yeah. I mean, I feel like the gameplay is enough to keep you interested, especially when you get little surprises like that. Oh yeah, and especially since, because right now I can't actually hear the sound of the game, so I'm having to go on the fact that the screen is like flashing different colours and such. What I'm probably going to do now is um, quit the game, start up 2, and I am going to start Doom 2, load up a file, and hope that I can find the enemy roster. Oh, covering Doom and Doom 2 in one game! I once tricked my sister, because Doom was made by Williams, I once tricked my sister into believing Williams Corporation was run by Hayley Williams' granddad from Paramore. <laughs> <laughs> and she believed me for ages. Right, so we're getting a taste of Doom 2 as well now, so that's going to be delicious. Yeah, but succulent. I, I mean, it's a different game. We're going to have to rate Doom 2 hot or not as well. <laughs> Trust me, it's not going to be that much <laughs> different. It's going to be pretty much the same but game. Do you think that they could have done more with Doom 2? Yeah, I think they could have smoothened out the graphics a bit more. They made certain weapons more available. They put more tricks and traps into it. And I literally mean tricks and traps. There is a level on this game called Tricks and Traps. And... No rest for the living, bitch! Yeah. I'm, you, I'm too young to die. I'm too young to die. <laughs> I, I've got this on an easy file simply for the matter of it's the last level and I just need to complete the level in order to show you the enemy roster. I don't know, I mean, you can already tell that even though the graphics have improved a lot, yeah, there is some slight improvements. There is. I mean, they've tried to go a bit more gory, a bit more horrifying. I mean, this whole level looks more intimidating than the original levels you saw. I still don't get the point of Doom Guy being down there, though. <coughs> His face is, if you can't look at the health, his face is supposed to tell you how fucked up he is. I remember doing a bit of research after I watched you complete one, where the main boss is a giant fucking wall. Yeah. And the, I, real, I found out why they did that, essentially. That giant wall's name was Bethamet, which, if you don't know who Bethamet is, audience of mine and Tyler's, you can look it up, it is a very iconic... I'd say character from hell. Um, Bethamet, when you met it in Doom, in the level Icon of Sin, was um, speaking to you. I can't remember exactly what the words are, but they're reversed. And as you know, speaking in Backmask was a very... Oh! oh. Was a very um, iconic thing for little Hellions to be doing. Yeah, they had that whole thing where if you play a record backwards, you can hear the devil talk and all that bollocks, Yeah, well, didn't they? that's what they did. But there was more to this Bethamet than people first knew. Um, behind Bethamet, if you used the no-clip cheat, and it was the only way to do this, there was the head of the creator of Dune, John Romero. It was on a stick, wasn't it? Yeah, it was his head on a stick. And that was what Bethamet actually was. It was John Romero's head on a stick. <laughs> so. But I, I remember looking up why it was a giant wall. Go and on. essentially it was a giant wall because they didn't have the power to make a creature as big as they wanted it to be. Oh yeah. Because that thing was supposed to be like most of that room. But they went, well, we can't do that. So it's going to have to be a wall. Yeah, well... <laughs> it, it wasn't the wall that was killing you, if you remember so rightly. No. It, it, it was spawning every creature you could have ever fucking imagined yeah. behind you, in front of you, from the left, from the right. Well, we're going to end the episode there, but first we're going to leave you with a little treat. What is uh, every 
character in the game essentially, every mob, even yourself, at the end of it, die. Yeah, hear their beautiful screams and... Not the yeah. PlayStation screams, the classic screams from the PC games. I mean, there was one particular sound that me and my old boss at the spy used to talk about, an enemy called the Archvial, and how electronic it sounded. Acronomatron. Arachnatron, mate. Hey. I can't say it! Aerodactyl. Ah! But yes, make sure you stick around just after this bit, because we have a special thing that's going to happen at the end of every hot or not. And uh, basically, it depends on what we rate it, hot or not. And it's good. the game is either going to get a special treat or it's going to well, get bulked. Yeah. I bet you're but looking for Doom, Doom 2. I say hot. I say hot. And you, you that, can't that. not do lots of rhyme yeah. to fill in some time. Oh look, a dime. <laughs> yeah, our freaking dime. I get fucked. So stick money. around, guys, and we will be right back for Doom's little hot treat. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye now. Bye.